Saturday Social is powered by EA Sports FIFA 23 with PlayStation. We're going to read out some World Cup related statements. You've got to answer true or false. So they'll have 60 seconds to debate mm. why you've said true, why you've said false. The first one involves Espana because they absolutely hammered oh. Costa Rica 7 0 opening day, didn't they? So, oh. true or false, Spain are now favourites to win the World Cup. Let's Ooh. get the paddles up. False. Okay. What are you getting? False. Why? I'm saying false. I think it's too early. They play Costa Rica, no disrespect to Costa Rica, yeah. but um, you know, it, I don't think we were the favourites after we beat Iran 6 2. I don't know if it's a different scoreline, but it was very good. I think they're better than I thought they were, and they're going to be going further maybe than I thought they were. I had them, I think, going, going to the quarter finals. I think I had them beating Belgium in the first knockout round, in my prediction. Um, but we need to see more of them. We need to see more of them against a better opposition. I think we've seen Brazil leave it late, but do really well against what is you know, quite highly tipped Serbian side. Uh, and we've seen France come back for against Australia. It's too early for any favourites, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Agree. I agree with what Spence is saying. I think... They're a very good team, obviously, but favourites right now when you've got Brazil. Obviously, Argentina were kind of <coughs> being named as one of the favourites as well, but we know how their first game went. You've got England, you've got France, are obviously a really good side as well. I think there are too many teams. It's too early as well. You can't be like one, one game in, two games in, throwing out that they're going to win. I don't think, I, I can't imagine they're favourites. Brazil. OK. Yeah. It's coming go. home. Total Brazil, agreement. Yeah. Brazil looks great. Total agreement. Brazil, Brazil didn't yeah. look good, yeah. OK, let's stick with Group E for this. And we can show you where Group E stands at the minute because it has been an enjoyable start to this group, hasn't it? This Germany group was a shock is mad. defeat. Uh, so we can have a look at what it means to the league table now. There it is. So Spain, mm. look at that, plus seven goal difference after one game. Japan beating Germany, which means Germany then. are on no points after one game. And look at their next fixture. It is against top of the table Ooh. Spain. So it's not looking great for could Germany. Could be worse, England fans. As it could be yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So our next true or false is as follows. True or false, Germany will not get out of their group. Ooh. What are you saying? Let's see the paddles. Nicole, uh, oh, who's in it? Spain, oh. Japan. Oh, the clock started already. So you've gone go. true. Oh. Spencer, why have you gone true? Well, I'm, I'm kind of on no. the fence, if I'm honest, but it's Germany, so we'll go true. <laughs> no, um, but they're playing Spain, obviously, next mm. game. And I, I struggled to see after that first round of fixtures them getting a win in that game. Of course, they're capable of it, but Spain will be looking to secure it in two games, right? The, the progression. So <clears> I think maybe the best they could hope for might be a draw there. And then they've got to win the last game still to have four points. You know, Japan have got a great opportunity now, having mm. played Germany already. If they get something against Costa Rica, which they should, they put someone six points. Points means there's only one spot left, really. Yeah. So yeah, the odds are they won't do it. Oh, Nicole, you disagree? Surely, well, because like, surely they can't go out. Well, obviously they can. After that first game, that was an absolute shocker. I can't wait for that game tomorrow night, Spain Germany. That yeah. is going to be so good, especially because there's now so much riding on it for Germany. But they've, I think they've got to get. Oh, will they get a win against Spain though? Oh, guys, I just can't see them going the out fence. yet. Get on the fence. They're, they're too good to go out yet. I, I think they win tomorrow. Oh, it's a, it's a oh, good one. Oh, wow, we like a debate, don't we? Uh, that'd be a huge result, wouldn't it? OK, yeah, the next yeah. one, true or false? And this is making a lot of people very angry online. Oh, uh, the well. amount of additional time at this uh. World Cup is great for the game. Mm. I've never seen a more debated <laughs> topic around a World Cup that's not about the football. Mm. 60 seconds on the clock. What are you saying? Uh. False. 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 Ooh. No, it isn't, it's not great for the game. I think it's annoying. How many minutes was added on in the end for the England-Iran game? It was like 25 minutes. 24 minutes in England-Iran, but it was only four last night. It was absolutely... Well, yeah, but that's what seems like a bit weird. A bit. There seems to be like a lack of consistency there. I think it just drags it on a bit. I kind of understand why they're doing it because of time-wasting in the game, but we don't need that much added time. The players must hate it as well. The problem is, is if it works well for your team, if you're one yeah. or down you've got an extra 10 minutes, you're going Going, mm. yes, this is the best thing ever. It's a bit like VAR. If it works well for your team, yeah. great. Or you hate it. If it. Do you know what I mean? I don't so, think Wales were a big fan of it yesterday. Well, that's the thing. I, I yeah. think it depends on your team and how they're doing. But no, it makes it, it just drags it out. Yeah, I think it's it's an inevitable progression and it's a middle middle row before we actually get to what we need to get to, which is the stop mm. clock. We need the stop clock in football. I feel very passionately about this. The 60 okay? minutes stop clock. Yeah, 60 minutes, whatever you do. You'll get more football as a result anyway. This is an attempt to keep it traditional, but it doesn't even make sense. You're seeing like plus 14 minutes and then it goes beyond that anyway because mm. something happens yeah. in injury time. The, the clock looks a mess. It's, rid yeah. it's ridiculous. I do know what you mean. I mean, it is like a directive set, but the, play, the ball is only in play like 54 minutes in the Premier League, and that yeah. is a problem. Exactly, so 60 minutes we get more football. 
Yeah, mm. you would yeah. get more football. And it stops time wasting set. as well. It's it's well set. Clock, yeah. clock stops time wasting. I think yeah. it has stopped a li little bit of time wasting. And over the last couple of games, yeah. I've noticed yeah. a little bit less time wasting. I know what Nicole's saying though. Is when, when, if England are winning one in a knockout game, and you yeah, then you get 10 fourteen minutes, minutes added on. on. Yeah. Oh, uh, let, let's move on because we're going to talk about player of the tournament, possible player of the tournament. Our next statement is true or false? Kylian Mbappe will be the player of the tournament. How good did France look, by the way? How good did he look? Oh, he looked great, didn't he? Score his goal. A lot of top players in the World Cup. It's very early. It's I've only played early, once, man. but what are you saying? Off the fence, please. True or false? Oh, scored on the Spencer opening day. Spencer false. Probably should have had Nicole, five. what are you saying? The, the clock started already. Oh, started, Nicole. Oh, oh I, don't, I don't know where, because we know how good Mbappe okay, is. Okay, let's, let's go with Spencer already because we're 10 seconds Well, down. listen, he could get it, obviously, <laughs> but we've seen one France game. They've got Denmark next. Bet Denmark scary. beat him twice in the qualifying or the Nations League, sorry. Yeah, so there's no reason why they couldn't do that again. France uh, are going to have some tougher games, but I'm looking at some other people. I'm looking mm. at uh, Brazil. I'm looking at Richarlison. Richarlison. Mm. I called out Vinny Jr. Vinicius mm. Jr. before the tournament was my potential tip. Um, if, and I think he'll definitely keep playing now, especially now Neymar's out of the group stage. Got yeah. an assist. Pretty good. And then I'm looking at if Netherlands would go deep, Gakpo, mate. Gakpo. Mm. I don't even know if I'm tired. saying that rightly, but yeah. we'll be saying it properly soon, that's for sure. Nicole? I, I kind of agree. Mbappe is brilliant. We know what he can do. We know what the France team can do. But when you've got Cody Gakpo, obviously already scored two goals in his first two games. Even, even Richarlison, even the likes of some of the England players, there, there's so much talent here at the World Cup. I don't think... It's too early, guys. Well, we've not seen enough of him in this tournament yet. We know the talent, but in this tournament, it depends how far they get He probably well. is the best player in the world, though, right now, officially, along yeah. with Enna Valencia. Yeah. Oh, along with Enna. Oh, it's such a shame that Enna came off yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. With that knee injury, like, stretched it off. Uh, let's go to Brazil, then, because there was a lot of mentions of them there. And Neymar obviously has picked yeah. up that injury yeah. now, hasn't he? So he's going to miss the group stages. Um, so... Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, we are doing Brazil next. Uh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> Brazil need... Don't need Neymar to win the World Cup. True or false? Ooh. Oh, we're wow, quite insane. Yeah, that one. yeah I, I'll go for this. I'll go true. Obviously, again, a player incredible quality. We know what he can do. But this Brazil team, there's a reason that they are being named the favourites to win the World Cup. The talent that they have, especially going forward, the striking talent that this Brazil squad have. They don't need it. We saw, like, Richarlison. What a goal. That, that uh, goal. Goal saw. of the tournament, right? Goal of the tournament already. I don't care. Any other goals, that yeah, is the so goal far. of the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Uh, to, uh, to strength in depth. I, I think they, they don't need him. I think they'll miss him, obviously, but I think they'll be pretty solid without him anyway. They, they've got goals in them without yeah. Neymar. It's an embarrassment of Richie's going forward. They yeah. didn't even play him in the front three last game. That's yeah. how, good he, yeah. how good they are going forward. Uh, they've got Lucas Pacatar as well from West Ham, so yeah. he'll probably set a bit further forward now, which will bring in uh, the likes of a Fred or a Fabinho to sit with Casemiro. Like, I know Bruno Fred, Grimaresh. Bruno Grimaresh. Yeah. I mean, they've got so many options Bruno. everywhere, haven't they? That's the thing. I think it's only fullback they look a little bit weak, especially now Danilo's out for the group stage as yeah. well. So could we see good old Danny Alves Imagine. coming in? I don't know. Oh, he's but so old. Neymar's like the ageing back line, isn't it? If we're, if we're too old. Yeah, critiquing that team. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the ageing plays the World Cup work. It's a good balance, yeah. isn't it? Well. They, they, they were my favourites. Thiago Silva looks like he's about 24. Yeah. It's a joke. They were my favourites for the tournament. They do look unbelievable. We're going to talk Wales next. Yes. Uh, the next one is true or false. Wales will fail to qualify Ooh. from their group. Now, they need to beat England and, of course, hope things go the way Iran versus US. They need to draw in that one. Uh, but will they qualify from their group? What were you saying? I'm saying it's true that they'll fail. Absolutely. True that they'll fail. Yeah. OK, let's go to Nicole first. Oh, there's no way... I say this famous last word, oh, but there is the no way I'm going to jinx it. They're not going to beat England. They would need to beat England <laughs> by... How many goals would they even need to score against England to Four. get through? That's, that's for us to go out, isn't but it? That's for us yeah. to go out, Always though. for us to go out, yeah. So, I mean, either way, they need a win against England. And I'm sorry, Welsh fans out there, um, it's not going to happen. Oh. England are too good. Well, it's Gareth Bale looks off it. He's not been good enough. I think we've got far too much quality they're not going to beat us so unfortunately I would have liked quite liked them to have gone through but it's not going to happen Spencer yeah, definitely not at our expense um, no. but uh, listen I think the players don't believe it look at that I know it's immediately after the game but look at the interviews afterwards they're dejected you know it's mm. still mathematically possible but they, they know they've got a real up uphill battle now um, I think that yeah both Iran and USA are better equipped to go through we've seen that already I think USA actually are going to do it I think they're going to beat Iran in the final game and go through with actually a pretty decent five points tally from mm. them being unbeaten as well but, yeah, I do feel sorry for Wales, but I don't think ultimately they deserved it. I know the extra injury time hurt them with a red card yesterday, mm. but what did they do in the, in the whole game? Not so you're saying England and the USA yeah. from the group. Nicole, who are you saying from the group? Ooh, 
probably England, USA. I think USA are that bit better than Iran. Okay. Nicole was so strong in yeah. guaranteeing on air line that, that yeah. Wales aren't going to be only come back yeah. to I just hope that that doesn't come back to bias, Nicole, the way that you said that. Absolutely. Prop that up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go to the next one then. Uh, this is about Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. Uh, true or false? Ronaldo will go further in the World Ooh. Cup Ooh. than Lionel Messi, obviously. Now, Argentina <sighs> lost their opening yeah. game, didn't they, to Saudi Arabia? But Portugal won it and they both scored a penalty. So, Penaldo. Um, get the paddles out. Oh, oh, struggling with this one. Oh, that's because that's really difficult. So you're saying he wow. will go so further. Ronaldo Portugal will going go further. further than Messi. So this is Portugal versus Argentina. You have to push you, Nico. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh. So you're saying Argentina will go further. Oh, I... You're saying Portugal will go further. Why Argentina? Well, I don't know. I w well, I would have gone for Argentina before the World Cup started. You would obviously have backed Argentina to go further. But based on that, they've already got a loss now. Oh, she still doesn't know, do you? I, don't, I think as well. You know what? I want Messi. I want him to do it. You want him to get further. You, well, I don't want him to win the World Cup because obviously I want us to win it. But if not, it would be a lovely story, wouldn't it? Everyone wants him to win it. Ronaldo's not in my good books at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, favouring Messi and Argentina. Mm. I think this has changed for me since the tournament started. Before the tournament, yeah. I definitely would have gone Argentina. Well, actually, to be fair, my prediction, I had them both losing the semi-finals, so going the same distance. They would have come to the third place playoff, of course. But um, now, Portugal won that first game. Massive, really important. Argentina haven't. I still think they'll get out of the group. I think mm. they're going to win today. But, and even though I think the Argentina team is better on paper, I think Portugal have just got, based purely off those first, that first game, a little bit more about them this year. I'm surprised. Argentina hadn't lost a game in about, what, 20-odd games. Now yeah. they lost to Saudi 36. Arabia. 36. 36 mm. games. 36 on games. That, yeah. It's crazy. But um, I think there's a good chance they go as far as each other. Oh, Ooh, OK. He scores okay. more goals. Next mm. up, uh, we're going to stick with Ronaldo because it's still slightly related to the World Cup because he's playing in the World Cup. But we can't ignore this news. Huge news, isn't yeah. it? And that is the news, of course, that Ronaldo uh, terminated. Man United officially announced they'd mutually terminated his contract at Manchester United. Now, this is Cristiano Ronaldo's statement. As you can see, is following conversations with Manchester United. We've mutually agreed to end our contract early. He goes on to say, I love Manchester United and I love the fans. Mm. That will never, ever change. How However, it feels like the right time for me to seek a new challenge. Obviously, wishes the team well for the future. So our next one is true or false? Because so many people are sort of I start questioning where he's going to go next. True or false? Ronaldo will sign for a Champions League club oh. in January. I'm intrigued Very to know what you say for this one. False. Oh, okay, Spencer. False? 60 yeah. seconds on the clock, First, why? Also, the statement's false. I don't think he loves Man United that much because he wouldn't Agreed. have done what he did. You anyway, um, them like that. I think that... I don't think there's any Champions League club out there that would really take the risk on him. And I think he's a risk now because he's a, a toxic potential uh, input in the changing room, you know, if he doesn't get played. I don't think... If, if, I think if Portugal manager didn't play him, he'd be uh, doing an interview with Piers Morgan in a few days, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> I just don't trust the man, to be honest. I think he's a great footballer, but I think his time might be done. I think if they win the World Cup, I think he might retire. Do you? Uh, and I also think, oh. well, he needs to sign with someone because is he technically uninsured right now if he gets injured? Just putting it out there. Ooh. Nicole? Um, he will not retire. He, the problem with Ronaldo is Ronaldo doesn't realise that Ronaldo has aged and that he's at a point where he's not at, at the peak of his career anymore. Um, I kind of agree. I, I worry what team would want to take him on. Look, as an Arsenal fan, I wouldn't want him at Arsenal because he will disrupt the dressing room. He's obviously got an ego. And I guess, kind of rightly so, and you are one of the greatest players in the world. But... Uh, sporting Lisbon, they don't have Champions League football now. No. He's been linked to Chelsea, hasn't he? But I don't see that happening. Don't see happening MLS, Chelsea. he's going to go to Definitely. the MLS. Heavily, yeah. linked, heavily linked with Al Halal as yeah. well by Sky Sports yesterday, mm. so might be one to mm. keep your eye on. Uh, whilst we're on the topic of Manchester United, January signs, Ronaldo replacements potentially. Another mm. man we spoke about earlier, Cody Gakpo, yeah. having a stunning World Cup, World. heavily linked with the club. So true or false, Cody Gakpo is the best option. For Manchester yeah, United in January, of course, reportedly agreed terms with the club in the summer. Yeah, yeah. Spencer, I don't. I don't think it's a like for like. Obviously, we've seen him play deeper for the Netherlands. And I think he can. And he's not. A, he's not an out-and-out -out striker, yeah. really. Um, so that, that's not a complete replacement. But uh, obviously, Ten Hag doesn't necessarily want Ronaldo in the team as an out-and-out mm. striker. So I think it's a great addition. I think his numbers are a joke if you look at what he's been doing in the Eredivisie, yeah. yes. and now he's doing it on the biggest stage as well. You know, helping Netherlands a lot. Yeah, I think someone's got to get him. Someone's, he's, he's, the, no, he's the Hamish Rodriguez of this tournament. You know, he's Ooh, the one who's got to get a great move star, yeah. off the back yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah I oh. completely agree. I feel like... 
like he's already shown himself and to be able to he's what 23 years old to be able to step up and do it on the big world stage I think he's clearly making a name for himself showing off his talent he's been doing very well for PSV this season um, he was kind of linked with Arsenal maybe Arsenal fans were kind of making it up but I think he'd spoken to Man United before and yeah, had conversations with before. Ten Hag um, but it didn't work out for whatever reason and now this seems like the perfect timing with Ronaldo going mm. I think it would work pretty well yeah is he the best you should try and get him after Imagine think, if he went to Arsenal. That'd I, just, be I don't think yeah. it, I don't think it will happen. It sounds like he's going to Man United. Played well against Arsenal in the Europa League game. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Well I think him. he said that he'd had conversations with Eric Ten Hag yeah. in the summer, so it's yeah. definitely one to keep your eye. You're on. a United fan. You take yeah. him up as in? I think I would. Ooh. I think I would, but maybe not as strongly necessarily as a lot of people have hinted at. I think okay. he's maybe best operating off the left, where United have got. You know, Rashford, Sancho, Garnacho will want to play. Okay. I don't know whether he's an out-and-out central striker. We shall okay. see.